We've seen a lot of rain here in the valley and all that water is starting to cause trouble. Good evening, I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Mike Black. Morgan County is getting hit hard, even causing the school system to go on a two-hour delay tomorrow. Our Sydney Stallworth was out tracking reports of flooding there today, and she has more. It might not look like it, but I'm standing in the middle of the road. Flooding has been impacting us across the valley. Here in the Lacey Spring area, residents are feeling the effects. It's just it's just too much for me, for me. so I, I've been staying with my girlfriends, ex-girlfriends down the road. Brandon is going back to his home for the first time in days. He lives off River Loop Road, right where the floodwaters are deepest. He says some of his family and friends decided to leave because of the flooding. Yeah, my uh, sister, she lives right next door to me, and they, they went to a hotel, I believe. A major crack developed in the 2100 block of Highway 231 in the Lacey Spring area, just south of all the flooded roads. Crews responded and diverted traffic to fix it. Some roads in the area are closed for driver's safety. We met up with Morgan County Sheriff's Department to talk about how you should handle the situation when you're behind the wheel. Just don't try to cross it. Uh, sometimes we'll make it, but that one time that you don't, you put yourself at risk. And then you put the first responders at risk that have to come get you out. So our biggest thing is to just stay out of the water. Riverloop Road is still technically open, but parts of the road are several feet underwater, and there aren't too many options for immediate alternate routes. Residents still struggle to make it through. Most tell me flooding is something they've had to adapt to over the years. Well, we're just used to it. This happens like uh, once a year pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, we just, just make the best of it. There was also serious flooding in the Old River Road and Cold Stream areas. Officers say drivers need to use extra caution on the roads, even if they look passable. The time you think you're going to save is not worth putting your life at risk. I'm inches deep in water here, and some drivers have still been trying to make their way through this road. It gets even deeper towards the other end. Officials say not to do that. It's better to stay safe than get stuck. Putting the Valley first, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News. And Ditto Landing is now closed due to all the flooding. And looking at this video from today, it's easy to see why. The water is covering roads and walkways and goes right up to the sides of some of the buildings. They say Ditto Landing will reopen when it's safe for customers, patrons, and crew members.